everybody. Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back. We're doing a best of ones into Car Rising draft. What a pack. Wow. I mean, we definitely took the Scavenger. This card's amazing, but there's Rune Crab in here, which just wins game on its own. We've got Skyclave, Geopede, great uh, red landfall beater. And I guess that's it in terms of insane cards, but that is still a nice uh, spread of cards. The unfortunate thing is Scavenger obviously at its best in a deck that would also have Ruin Crab. So, I mean, I feel like whoever I'm passing Ruin Crab to is just going to take it, but it's just so clearly a Nighthawk Scavenger that we have to take it. I mean, I guess the nice thing is it's not like there's a black deck that doesn't want to run Nighthawk Scavenger. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just going to be at its best in Rogue. So we'll see if that works out. If it doesn't, it's no biggie. I'm sure it's still just fine in a Cleric deck considering it's got lifelink. So follow-up pick here. It's definitely a black card because we want to play this Nighthawk Scavenger if we can. So it's Acquisitions Expert, Skulker, or Blight Priest. Probably the Expert can randomly get some discard out of it. Still kind of puts us into possibly party deck territory. And it's a rogue, so it still keeps me in rogue territory as well. Blight Priest would be actually pretty good synergy with it and set us up for clerics, but you can still play Acquisitions Expert in a cleric deck as well. So, all right. Take the Expert. Moving on. Well, Malika Rebirth's a fine follow-up here too. Uh, can protect our Scavenger with it, which is nice. Actually works well with Expert too. Can chump block, Rebirth comes back, they discard again. I like that. Uh, and it's a spell land, which is obviously very good, so not even giving up much for it. Allied Assault is a really strong card. Just can put games away for party decks. Bayloth's a good beater. Hellhound usually is like last pick and is a playable card, which is kind of cool. But that's about it. All right, well, getting hooked up here. We can take the Black Bloom Rogue. Still kind of keeps us in rogue territory. Uh, actually, there's plenty of good rogues here. There's also Sign of the Swarm, which is pretty nuts with Scavenger as well, but... Rogue and Scavenger both want similar things. It's just unfortunate that we, we pass that Ruin Crab. It's like I said, that's going to put somebody in blue pretty quick. We can still take the Stalker here since there's not actually a black card now. Or we could take the Bug Catcher and go for more of a black-red uh, party beat stack. That's fine. But... What I like about taking the Stalker is it still kind of keeps us in Rogue territory. Potentially still in a party deck because it kind of dual duty there. It's calling the ambush here too, but it's not really the direction I want to go with these picks. We'll take the Stalker for now. That's, that's good. All right, good. We get some black picks here. So we can take Mind Drain. That's going to work really well with the Scavenger and the Rogue. I like that. This is Blood Priest, which is more of the party plan. But yeah, Mind Drain kind of exactly in line with the rest of these cards here. So I like that. All right, we can take another one. I'm all right with that too. Cutting black pretty hard here. Uh, there was another Stalker in there as well. Wow, it's a late bubble snare. Well... Could take the Blood Beckoning. Yeah, that's actually true. Blood Beckoning is a pretty reasonable pick here because it cuts black, which we want. Even though Bubble Snare is pretty good removal. Getting back up Scavenger seems really good to me. Yeah, I think we're going Beckoning. I, there's no guarantees we're blue yet. All right, we'll take the Skulker here. That's a nice pickup. Seen some late red. We still could pivot into a red, red black party, but we're in kind of a good uh, position here for rogues. It's just like I said, we passed that, uh, we passed that ruined crab, so that complicates things. All right, now none of these cards matter too much for us. I suppose there's still a chance. That we end up rogues, even though we pass the ruined crab. Not likely, though. But there's nothing else super likely here I want to play. So I guess we'll just take a blue card. Uh, 
this potentially back into black white cleric territory it doesn't seem likely to happen though but there's nothing else here hellhound wouldn't even be really good i mean allied assault is clearly the strongest card so we'll take it you can take the anti-cognition that makes sense with these mind drains bug catcher that late is actually a really good sign for i would say although last pick blue card too huh hmm. interesting uh still just gonna stick to taking black i think we'll take the thirst i mean at this point we've got enough powerful stuff in black where i think even if we ended up mono black we'd probably be okay i think we're most i think our plan is to be mostly black and then hopefully supplement with some rogues as necessary if needed or like i said we can still go down the black red party path because bug catcher with just one other class is a really efficient beater at common especially hmm well three mind drains are we starting to get a little bit excessive here probably but there's kind of nothing else we really want we could take the legion angel in blue, I guess there's like Royal Mage, and I'd probably take the Wizard over that. In red, Rockslide Sorcerer. That's actually a pretty good pick. Problem is, uh, we do have some instants and sorceries. Yeah. Sorcerer seems like the... Just three Mind Drain seems really excessive. I think two is kind of the sweet spot. And like I said, we saw that late bug catcher, so there's still a chance we could do the black-red party deck. What's this nuts thing do? The chances of getting full party are pretty slim. No blue in here. No black we want in here. Could take the pack beast. It has synergy with bug catcher and sorcerer. And it's colorless. Seems like a safe pick, actually. Squad Commander, we do have the Allied Assault. I mean, it's a strong card, but are we going to be black-white party is the question. I feel like it's not likely to happen. I'm going to take the Pack Beast. It's kind of... it's it's. All right, this is actually kind of good. We can take a Rebuke here. And then I think we're, we're pretty well positioned to just pivot right into... Black red party supplement, unless I want a second blood beckoning, which I don't think we need. So we'll take the rebuke. Yeah, all right, this is good. Now we're seeing just really, really good red stuff. No, another blood beckoning, but we don't need that. That late bug catcher might have been the sign we needed. A little bit creature light, but I'm not going to pass an opportunity to take a rebuke here. Deals with a lot of stuff. That Ardent Pyromancer would have been nice as well. So we can take Skulker. We can take Wizard. Skulker is still fine. Because we have a good amount of rogues. And it still synergizes with Bugcatcher. And it's quite a bit better with Wiz than Wizard if it has Death Touch. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Cinderclasm, not exactly what we're looking for. But we might just take it anyway. Kind of kills a lot of our good stuff. Or a lot of our stuff, I should say. Omnath, huh? So we can take Scorch Rider, but Kazul's Fury is not bad. I suppose we need seven more creatures. Scorch Rider does not synergize with Bug Catcher. Doesn't have a ton of synergies in here. Kazul's Fury, I do like. You know what? I think we just take it because free spell can do a lot. Ooh, Hazard. That's cool. All right. Okay, we can take the wizard now. That's actually good in here because synergizes with bug catcher, lets us loot, synergizes with sorcerer. So right now we've got wizard, warrior, rogue. Not bad. Take a mucklord to cut black. We don't really want to play it though. Take a barrage. Vortex might actually be good. We're fairly aggressive. I mean, pack three will sort of decide how aggressive we are, I suppose. That's actually playable in here. 
Crawling Barons is crazy good. Uh, it's just like a free win con in your deck, basically. Just takes a slot of a land. It's really, really good. You can even count it as an 18th land, and I don't think I'd be upset about that. But there's also a hazard, Feed the Swarm in here. Feed the Swarm is better when you're gaining life to offset the life loss. But I think it's just an easy Crawling Barons. This, this card is really insane. Wow, Passage Ace. I think we probably want the Electromancer. It's going to make sense with Party Plan, especially in this deck where it would let us go like turn two Skulker, turn three Electromancer, Bug Catcher, something like that. It's really good. I think it makes sense. Passing passing Jace, I'm okay with that. Shadow Stinger is obviously very good. Sky Dancer flies. Shadow Stinger makes the most sense, though. We have a good amount of rogues. It's really good defensively, but obviously offensively, too. Especially in a deck that's got a Black Bloom Rogue and a Scavenger, so... Yeah, we'll take that. Maybe get the Sky Dancer back if we're lucky. We'll see. Removal-wise, we're a little bit... No, we're actually fine. We've got the Thirst. We have Double Rebuke. We're good. Royal Eruption now. Still Creature Light, but... I can't pass a Royal Eruption, I don't think. So we could take the Charger, get us another Warrior... It's good for aggro. We don't have any equipment to stick on it, but it pings stuff. I think I like it more than Fissure Wizard. It's a good card. Fissure Wizard has better synergy with the Sorcerer, but that's no big deal. It's still fine. Skitter Sneak is probably pretty good in here. Yeah. Over the Champion. We don't have enough Warriors for that, but we have enough Rogues for Skitter Sneak. Another Roiling Vortex, huh? No, I think we're just taking another Hazard. Kite Sail would actually be kind of good too, but Hazard's just a great card. Especially in a deck that's got Rock Slide Sorcerer. You can turn your land into a build-your-own uh, Shock. Better than Shock, actually. You can distribute the damage. So we don't need any of this. Just take a random Uncommon. Since we're on pack three now. Three Hazards? How many creatures do we have? 14? That's going to be satisfactory, I think. And we might still wheel one. I don't think I've ever had three spike field hazards. That's crazy. Got the kite sail anyway. I don't think it's going to make the deck. It's a late vine gecko. Alright, that's good news, actually. Uh, we only have two four drops. Sky Dancer flies. It's probably better. And it works better with the scavenger. Yeah, we'll take the evasion here. So we got, we got a good deck. Definitely. Considering we kind of knew after pick one that Demir Rogues probably wasn't going to work because we passed a Ruin Crab. I'm pretty happy with what we ended up with here. Uh, so I kind of want to count Black Bloom Rogue as a creature, which is fine. Because Zool's Fury can count as a land. Spikefield Hazards can count as a land. I've never had three. That's a really... Bizarre. Malachar Rebirth can count as a land. And I think that's it. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 17 lands. Wow. Uh, that's cool. Do I want the kite sail is the question. Because we don't want to cut a creature. I'm kind of okay with running one extra land. And the reason is because we've got all of these spell lands and we have a Crawling Barons. So running 18 doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem bad to me. It doesn't feel like we're too likely to get flooded in a deck like this that has all of these situational spells. And Kite Sail doesn't seem that great to me. I think we're aggressive enough where we could play the Roiling Vortex. Got a lot of two drops. All right, you know what? We'll cut the kite sail. I think just because a good amount of our stuff already evades. And the stuff that doesn't evade, besides like the bug catcher, isn't really that big. And sneaking guide kind of would almost do like a similar thing to kite sail, albeit at a more expensive cost. But 
it also generates gives us a rogue it really synergizes well with bug catcher and it works with like shadow stinger and skulker yeah sneaking guide is just good in here i'm all right running the extra land i like that so we're pretty even on colors but we have double black here double black here no double red so we can run an extra black source if needed space for 11 we already have four red so something like that and then five I said I wanted the extra black, so we'll do that, and then four red. Did I do this right? Four, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and then the Crawling Barons. This is a cool deck. Really cool deck. A lot of removal. Yeah, all right. We'll see what we can do with this. We'll see you around one. All right, here in game one, this is a good hand. Charger, Scavenger, Mind Drain. That's pretty good. Turns one through four. I like that. Oh. Charger into Expert into Scavenger. I like that too. Yeah, we'll do the Expert because we actually get a choice of two here, which is kind of nice. And it buffs our scavenger as well, which is good. Yeah, bring out the big guns. Hazard is cool. So, um, I think for now we actually play the. Well, this is a pretty good time to do Mind Drain, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I feel like it just has a good chance to get rid of some removal and buffs our scavenger. Like, obviously, it synergizes better when you've got a Rock Slide Sorcerer out, but... Got a lot of Ardent Electromancers. Um, actually, this seems fine to me. So they've got five in the yard. Let's just do the sorcerer now. It turns all removal into pings. It's pretty nice. All right. We are drawing a lot of lands, but I don't think it matters because we've got a lot of spell lands left. <clears throat> as well as Crawling Barons. I think we still have how many spell lands left? We still have like four spell lands. That's pretty good. Yeah, we can Mind Drain, sure. Why not? Scavenger's pretty huge now. This is even Roiling Vortex would be a pretty good uh, 
pretty good draw. Can actually win off of that card. Mm. All right. I suppose that makes sense. Buys him a little bit of time. I was going to say we can probably sandbag land, but I don't think that really makes any sense. They don't have mind drain unless they're splashing black or something. All right. So they can spellcraft our skulker, but we have the rebirth, so that seems fine. Now I imagine we'll just be doing it to the bug catcher. That should do it. Oh, bubble snare too, huh? Maybe not. Now we just need to get in for either of our guys, I guess. Or deal one point of damage to them. <laughs> All right. We'll see you for the next one. Yeah, it's a good keep. I like this hand. Blood beckoning, too. Cool. All right. So we still don't have to show them the crawling barons. Not that it really makes a difference here, but so we'll bust out the old Namana Sky Dancer. All right, drawing some cards. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd be surprised if they attack there. So we'll mill them a little bit. Ooh, Royal Eruption. Well, it's a good card to get rid of. So here we'll just do the Barons and we can pump it too, which is nice. So we'll just get in for two. And this can pump itself now, can't it? Yeah, this card is just crazy. Yeah, Crawling Barons is just crazy good. Squid, sure. So they're running three color, huh? Okay. I think we're still just going to pump this. So we got the fifth land, which is good. Means we can... Hazard, this, get in for two, and we can pump the barons again. Uh-oh, Beldar Retreat's a tough one to beat. This will take six for now. So, I think we just rebuke this and drop a pack beast and get in for two.
their royal eruption back. I'm surprised they didn't attack there, actually. Um, hmm. So we can get in for six with the Crawling Barons. Hmm. They can kill it if they block with all three, and I suppose I can only kill two of their guys. Um, what do I like the most here? Feel like we go charger, and then we actually go unblock. I mean, I feel like the only way we win this is if we push through a lot of damage and fast. So they're up to seven lands, which means they can kick the, uh, they can kick the, uh, Royal Eruption, which is pretty important. That might actually work out okay for us here. Now we can at least go Blood Beckoning. Let's get back these two. I mean, I don't know how else we beat this game <laughs> other than getting damage in every turn. It just turns out Felidar Retreat's a pretty strong card, as some of you probably already know. Crawling Barons is a lot less exciting than a uh, Felidar Retreat. Alright, we'll see you for the next one. Alright, we've got a keep here. Gonna have to play a hazard, but that's okay. So, Fissure Wizard makes better use of mana. Uh, technically, I don't need to ditch any card here, so I think we won't. If I have to play another hazard next turn, I will. But, not anymore. Oh, definitely not anymore. Okay. Well, let's deal with that little fella. Not the best use of mana, but I like turning our lands into kill spells. It's kind of nice. And it exiles. I, I don't know why I forget that. All right, C4 Stalker. We can kill that, but I think we'd rather get the Scavenger online now. Make them deal with it if they, if they can't. Even if they can, we get the blood beckoning, so it's fine. They can deal with it. Hopefully, not twice. The mind drain, admittedly less good when they have as many cards in their hand as they do, but... Considering that it buffs our scavenger, I'm kind of tempted to just do it. Looks like they're Demir Party. Spike Field Hazard again. Hmm. 
Well, the cool thing about Hazard is it can kill Master of Winds. That is actually nice. Um, I think we're just going to Mind Drain him. Buff Scavenger up. I think we are going to play the Hazard. I, I like the idea of killing a Master of Winds if it flips, but we kind of need the fourth land right now, especially for Blood Beckoning. And I suppose we still have one more left in there somewhere, so it's not bad. Man, it's too bad, too, because Spikefield Hazard looks really good against her opponent. They got the Pack Beast, the Sky Dancer, the Blood Priest, the Royal Mage. They have, like, all X ones. I guess that makes our Charger better, too. So, if they kill our scavenger, I don't have enough black mana to just single raise dead and play it again. Which is kind of relevant here. Got rid of two... They must have a pretty good hand. Because we got rid of two pretty good spells. Man, another X1? The whole deck is x one. Um, yeah, let's see here. So the stalker is online. We'll get in with the scavenger. We're going to royal eruption the stalker. And then we're going to play the charger. Pass. Their deck looks like it's really good if they have uh, Thwart the Grave or whatever it's called. Man, our deck would have loved that instead of a Blood Beckoning. Their deck looks really phenomenal, though. They've got uh, Master, they got the Double Rare going on, both of which are really excellent. They've got multiple Blood Priests, Stalker, Royal Mage to get back removal spells they haven't played yet. Makes sense. So we lost our Roiling Vortex. Not the end of the world. Alright. So sandbag land, get in with the scavenger. Although, do I want to sandbag land? I suppose not. Mind Drain gets us anyway. And another land, at least I can Blood Beckoning plus Replay Scavenger. So I can kick Blood Beckoning and Replay Scavenger. So here we block the uh, Blood Priest, I think. I mean, if I'm not attacking with Fissure Wizard, it probably makes sense to block with it. Although, yeah, we got to prevent damage, I think. That's fine. If 
They have a kill spell for Scavenger. I hope it's an actual kill spell, though. So it looks like they're gonna... If they just end up flipping power toughness, that's probably a good sign. Because we get Master of Winds off the board. I see. So now we can... Kick uh, Blood Beckoning. Get the Scavenger back. And... Could get the Charger for Ping. Because it's so good against X1s. Fissure Wizard makes all of our... We don't have to... I feel like we want the draw effect more, so I'm actually going to do it like this. Like, the X1 that can kill two things is good, but turning all my future land draws into something better with Fissure Wizard, I like that more. Well, we're not. Well, I'm, I'm sure glad I had the mana to replay Scavenger there. So, they're going to be able to get something back with that Blood Priest, or Null Priest, because they're just a land away. But they're actually not interested, I guess. Which is interesting. Uh, so we'll get in for four... Yeah, I think we'll just kill the Null Priest. Turns off their life gain. Alright, let's still outrace that, which is nice. I forget if I have any more Fissure Wizards. I suppose we can sandbag now, though. If only I could get that Colossus in their graveyard. I think the Scavenger would be a 5 power, because they'd have Artifact in there. Mm. Oh, Rebirth's good. That's cool. So this way, if they have a kill spell, I can still get Scavenger back. Mm. Unfortunately, that just puts them one ahead there. 11, 12, 13... So we're at 10. Could gain. Oh, Skulker, sweet. Okay. Well, let's see. Go to 14. Play a Skulker. Hope they don't have removal. If they do, we're pretty much dead. Even if they just have removal for Scavenger, the Rebirth, I think we can... Well, it was a close one, but kind of needed them to not rip the uh, Thwart the Grave there, unfortunately. So, came down to one more turn, and they got what they needed. All right, we'll see you for the next one. All right, I like this hand, we'll keep it. Can't decide whether I'd rather have the Kazool's Fury or the Spikefield Hazard, huh? 
I feel like Azul's Fury has got some more potential damage output with this Bug Catcher, so I guess, and considering we have three hazards, maybe that's smarter. And then watch, they just play X1s for the rest of the game. But Bug Catcher into Sky Dancers, actually pretty good. Hey, it'd be the first time I get to cast Roiling Vortex, that's cool too. So, we're going to do the Sky Dancer to get the extra damage in. Or try to. I mean, they clearly have something. Maybe Subtle Strike to kill our Sky Dancer? Sure. You know, when you play a format long enough, I feel like you just start to know everything that's going on. Well, unfortunately, Shadow Stinger's pretty good against us. Uh, let's see what we can do. I guess we can start the Vortex going here. Oh, it doesn't do what I thought it did. For some reason, I thought it dealt one damage to each player at the beginning of each player's upkeep. But no, it doesn't do that. So, kind of already in trouble. We basically need uh, a little gas in the tank here, or we're going to be in big trouble. No idea why they didn't attack there, but kind of worries me. Uh, so, let's see. Oh, they didn't attack there because they don't have a rogue. That's a pretty good reason to not attack, I suppose. So I can attack for three. It doesn't really do anything, though. So they got Rogue and Wizard so far. That's not so bad. Yeah, they can give that Death Touch though, huh? I see. Well, it's like we're going to get milled here, but as long as they don't mill our uh, Thinger. Um, thinger being uh, whatever the thing's called that brings back the two... I've only done like 70 drafts in this format, guys. Don't expect me to remember all the cards. Or they just get rid of two really sweet spells. That would have been nice to get. All right. So, looks like they've got something. Maybe not.
Hmm. All right. Guess I should have brought or not attacked with the stinger, but it's still, I don't know, kind of, uh, they would have been in pretty big trouble there had we had another Sky Dancer. Would have been able to give Death Touch on the fly, but they apparently did not even kind of care about that. Take a quadrillion here. A little mill three. There goes our blood beckoning, as well as two awesome other cards I would have liked to have. <laughs> and then we immediately rip a land. Um. I think our one chance of winning is through Kazul's Fury, probably. It seems like our only chance of possibly winning this is via Kazul's Fury and this bug catcher. So we get wizard. Um, that doesn't matter. So I get in for four. Let's see, it can block. I think we just got to get in here. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's going to be GG's. What can I do here to not uh, to not die now that they have the Zulaport Duelist? Can I live? I'm at four life. I was just trying to think if I can launch Kazul's Fury at them, and I think the answer is no, unfortunately. So, um, how do I live? I have to I have to throw the bug catcher at something and it's probably the trap finder because I can still block the seer with my stinger and then I can block duelists with Electromancer and just take two. All right. I 
And obviously I have to launch this because they can just give their Shadow Stinger Death Touch. Not that it really matters here. Losing a Skyclave Relic. Wow, that hurts. That hurts really bad. That's painful. That hurts uh, worse than losing against a lot of things. But yeah, losing in Skyclave Relic, that, that's painful. So, I think we just block here. We're pretty much toast anyway, so I'm not quite sure why I'm playing this out. We lost our Blood Beckoning, which would have been pretty helpful. Nighthawk Scavenger is still in the deck, but we'll see if it's still in the deck after milling another six cards. Looks like it is. But it's not going to matter now because we're at one life. Yeah, so we can draw it, play it. Yeah, if I had blocked the Stinger to, maybe I could have won. Hmm. Let's see. So if I block with the Stinger, I lose it. I would have had to, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered then. I should have blocked differently that one turn, banking on drawing Scavenger, but ultimately it wouldn't have mattered because of the Mind Drain. All right, well, I thought our deck was sweet, and then we just got one win, so uh, that's that's basically how <laughs> this format has been. I draft Mediocrity, uh, go 7-1, seven, 7-2, seven, draft something I think looks interesting and cool, and get one win, so that's, that is essentially, that is Zendikar Rising in a vacuum for you. All right, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.